Mm, a bite. It's a pizza. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Dana. How Hi, you feeling? Great. great. We're gonna ride bikes today. We are gonna ride bikes. I was so excited. I had like field trip tummy last night. <laughs> you couldn't sleep? I couldn't. I couldn't sleep either. <laughs> what about you, Chewini? Could you sleep? He slept fine. He, he slept fine? Yes, he Good did. morning, Mom. Good morning, Ryan. So my mom brought us some donuts. You're the all-star of the yeah. day. Thank you so much. <laughs> Xantha, good, good morning. I slept great. <laughs> I did. Mmm. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Right. <laughs> rom, rom, rom. Dana, what is this machine you have? Well, it is my priority 600, but because you scared me to death with all the climbing on this route, I decided to go with the 600. You know why? The beauty right here, the pinion gear system. Lots which has of gears lots in of there. Gears. So I took the front fender off. I took the back fender off because we know there can be like a serious mud issues sometimes. Dana, there's nobody I'd rather be stuck with than you. You know what? We got this. We got this. We, just... <laughs> we got this. I retake the handlebars Ooh. with some, some racing orange. I like the orange. Yep. You got your Colorado made slap bag. Yep. You got your Kai Venture bag over yep. here. I love it. My new favorite bag. You got your beefy tires in there. Yep, I'm ready for anything. Ready for In anything. In fact, if you get tired, you could just sit right here. <laughs> and I'll, that'll be it. I'll just take you on up over. That sounds like a deal. Yeah. I realize that not all of you know who Dana is. So I'm going to give you a quick background. Dana is one of my absolute favorite people on the planet. She's one of my best friends, without a doubt. And she's also my adventure buddy. We once rode bicycles from Boulder to Burning Man in Nevada going over 100 miles a day for 10 straight days. Until Dana fell off her bike and broke her collarbone, but Dana being Dana, she was still in pretty good spirits. We've also ridden our bikes around Cuba, we rode Ragbri together, and she, along with Xantha, have supported me during some of my most difficult 100 mile races. Dana is without a doubt the best of the best and I'm very grateful to have her in my life. Thank you for lending us your yeah. beautiful wife. Absolutely, I love it. I love that she can do these adventures. I really hey, do, with that. you. Yeah. yeah. We'll take good care of her. Water, Four Ryan. Water, <laughs> keep her hydrated. <laughs> Ryan, water. Dana, your hair looks really short. It's fresh, Ooh. Ryan, yeah? last night. You makes shaved it last night? Yeah, it makes my helmet fit better. <laughs> <laughs> and Dana, are you wearing socks with your sandals? I am, only because it's gonna be gravelly and I might take them off, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, you know, sandals are like, they're the comfort for me, no hot spots. Right? But you know that socks with sandals is the height of dorkiness. Not on bike trips. <laughs> because you can't be a dork when you're bike tripping. No way. Look at that. So Dana and I have been planning this for three or four months now. When I decided to do this ride, it was always with Dana. Aww. And now she's here. This is so great. We've been waiting for you. We have been. This is our new, this is our UK ride. Yeah, that's right. This summer. We <laughs> were gonna ride the length of Great Britain this summer, but obviously we can't be there and we had to do something else and this is it. Do you know what support? I'd rather be in the UK <laughs> than Kremlin, Colorado. <laughs> but this has been beautiful. <laughs> Xantha's gonna get some comments on YouTube. And how are you feeling this morning, Kevin? Now I'm very full, but I'm pumped. <laughs> full of donuts? Full of donuts, burrito. Wait a second, how long have you guys been year. together? 16th year. We've been together. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today's an anniversary of sorts? Yeah, yeah. it is. What's you know, it? we've been married like five or six times, so we just kind of averaged and we August. celebrate today. <laughs> yeah, today. Today's the day? Yeah, today's yeah. the day. Oh, yeah. wow, that's and awesome. And I'm sending her out for uh -huh. seven days. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Love you. Mean yeah. it. I am really glad that you're here. Thanks, Ryan. I've been missing you while I've been on the road, and we are going to have the time of our lives. We're going to have a blast. I can't wait. It's going to be Watch so it good. Unfold. Here's to some road magic. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Love you so much. Careful. See you later. Love you. Love you too, right we'll there. see you later today in Silverthorn. Bye, Mom and Santa. We'll see you in Silverthorn. I can't believe that Dana is here. She's right there. I know. This is so cool. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Woo! It's a good day to be alive. It's a beautiful day. We've never seen this one. This is a day we haven't seen, that's right. <laughs> So not only is today exciting because Dana is here, but we are riding into Silverthorn where my middle brother Logan lives with his wife Haley and their two super cute kids, Brindley and Carter. And I haven't seen them in a long, long time and we're gonna have a little backyard camp session with s'mores and all that good stuff. And it's gonna be great. Seeing family is really something special and especially since quarantine i haven't seen a lot of my family members besides my mom silverthorne's about 55 miles away about 3,000 feet of climbing so it's not going to be nearly as hard as yesterday which is kind of nice So we're riding along and we see this smiley guy on the other side of the road heading the other way. What's your name and where are you coming from? Uh, my name's Tom Hoskins. Uh, today I'm coming from Kremling and rode up to Ute Pass and back. I'm uh, using my electric bike today, the Rad Mini, so I've got to do out and backs. Yeah. Such to charge. Tell me how that works. You started in New Mexico. I started the end of the first week of May at uh, Antelope Wells Road uh, uh, for about three weeks because again I rode it all twice. Rode up through New Mexico to the Colorado border and then from there I rode up uh, as far as um, Breckenridge. Great. Up through it. And so you have two bikes. One yes. is electric, one is not electric. How do you do the electric bike? How do you charge it? Well, uh, with difficulty sometimes. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I have a generator, but it takes six hours to do a, a, a charge. So and you have two batteries, right? And I have two batteries. Yeah. And so uh, I'm probably staying in regular campgrounds a little bit more, you know, so I can hook into the juice. Yeah. Uh, but when there's passes, I just can't ride it because I don't have enough battery power. So then I get on the Orbea and and uh, have a good day doing that. So you said you're 71. I'm How long have you been riding bikes and doing this type oh of my, adventure? Well, I've been riding bikes since I was a kid, but I, uh, I'm one of the original post Marin County mountain bikers. Okay. I had a, uh, one of my first mountain bikes was a Tom Ritchie Teague welded. That's how far back I go into the late seventies, early eighties. and. Uh, used to ride Moab when Moab had no stoplights, when the Slick Rock Trail was uh, a motocross ride. That was all. Yeah, so awesome. I'm old school. And what do you love about it? Well, look. <laughs> so where is your extra battery? Uh, right here. So your battery's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Got one right there. You said you can go 115 miles if it's well, pretty flat it's terrain. Well, it's flat I can because I don't use the I, I don't use the pedal assist a lot. It was so good to meet you, my friend. Yeah, you too. You yeah. guys have a great trip. All right, bye bye, buddy. Happy trails. I really enjoyed meeting that Tom guy. Really smiley, friendly dude, and it just goes to show there's there's no right way to bike pack. However you can do it, however you can move your body, it's all good. Climbing now, Ryan. We're climbing. It's what we do best. <laughs> COVID high five. Papa, your first hill, Dana. Yeah. How's it feel? Good. Yeah. 
loving the bike. It's awesome. What have you most been looking forward to? You, you know, you've, you've known about this for a couple of months. Yeah. You know, we say this all the time, just like messing around, but there is really something to waking up and all you have to do is ride your bike all day. Yeah. What are you doing today? Just riding my bike. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Plus, you know what else I really love? It's not like an out and back. Mm -hmm. It's just riding. We're going somewhere. We're just going. Yep. For as long as we want, far as we want, fast as we want. It's great. We, Love it. We get to talk all day. Yep. Yeah, we still have so much to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so glad you're here. I love it. I love you. I love you too. We got zigzag coming. Yeah, Looks not, like he's going straight. He's not zigzagging. Kevin's been a trooper. This is, I think it's the 12th day. His body's never been through anything like this before. He's always full of good spirits though. So about five miles ago, we saw a guy with a broken down truck on the side of the road. And I don't know anything about cars, so I can't fix his car, but I rode by and said, hey, do you need anything, any cliff bars? And he's like, no, I'm good, the tow truck's coming. But he's like, I live down the road and I leave water out for the cyclist. I see you guys all the time, he said. And sure enough, he left a whole little booth here with some fresh water for the cyclist. Very cool. Trail Angel Water. We are chugging up Ute Pass, and it's not that steep, but it's pretty steady, and we have asphalt, which makes it easier, and it's a, just a nice quiet ride, just slowly pedaling. Dana, go, 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 Dana. traffic on this road than there was in all of Montana put together for 10 days of riding. This road is horrible. <laughs> but we're almost to Silverthorne, so that's good. All right, I am here with two very, very important people. Who are you? Carter <laughs> and Brindley. Brindley, and they're gonna show me around the neighborhood on their bikes, right? Yes. Let's do it. I love riding bikes with my niece and nephew. Even after my, I ride all day, my butt hurts. All right, we did it. So Brindley, why do you love riding your bike? I don't know. You don't know? I just like riding it. <laughs> you just like riding it? That's as good as answer as any. How about you, Carter? Why do you love riding your bike? I don't know either. You don't know? What, how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel good when you ride your bike? No, it just makes me feel normal. Makes you feel normal. But it makes, makes me feel normal too. Legs hurt. What do you say that again? It makes my legs hurt. It makes your legs you're hurt. Doing, you're doing exercise. Yeah. Well, someday you two can come with me on a big bike adventure. What do you think about that? Yeah. That'll be fun. He says no. She says yes. We can camp in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we can chase bears. No. We can eat lots of beans. I love beans. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh yeah. We're having a pizza party. Yeah. Do you know how much pizza I can eat after riding my bike for three weeks? A lot of pizza. I told my brother, buy a lot of pizza. Hi, Tweety. You want to bite a pizza? Yeah, eat some pizza. <laughs> Wait, you can't leave. I'm leaving, but give Dana water. I'll give her water. I'll keep her hydrated. I love you so much. Thank you for coming up and seeing us. I appreciate it. We'll be careful. All right. Mom is leaving now. So fun to see you. So fun to see you. It was very short, but I'll be home in no time. You will. We'll go have some fun. 
thank you so much for yeah. thank you for um, giving me life. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be on this planet without you, and I appreciate. I'm really having a great time on planet Earth. Do it alone, so we do have another party. That's true. Yeah, thank you to yeah. Dad too, but he's not here. He's not here right now. Hi guys, do you want to come ride with me tomorrow? We can go about 75 miles into the mountains. I don't think I can. I can do that. You can't do that. No. Why not? I'm too small. You're too small? My legs are too weak. Right? Your legs look great for riding that. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't? So you think maybe someday you want to come with me on a bike adventure? Yeah. Yeah. Someday that's not 70 miles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do 75 miles. Oh, yeah? yeah? All right, start training. How do you put up tents? How do you put up <laughs> tents? <laughs> well, I'll help you. How's that sound? Oh, it's s'mores time. What? Whoa, so what do we have here? Roasted marshmallows. Look at that's perfect. And a photo bomber. I haven't had s'mores in a long time, so we got we fired up the old campfire here, and all the neighborhood kids are teaching us how to make the perfect s'more. And I think that's probably pretty good biker food, you know, graham crackers, chocolate, marshmallow. I'll take it. How you doing, bro? What's going on? This is trail magic. This is trail magic right here.